guys, welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, yes, this is just the special episode for Christmas. Uh, I've decided to bring a new game to the channel. Uh, this is a game that I picked up the other day on sale. Uh, it's one I've never seen before, uh, but it seemed rather intriguing, and it's called Arctico. Um, so, or I think it's in other countries it's called Eternal Winter, I believe as well, so, um, for the people that aren't in the UK. But anyway, um, it's a little bit of a survival game, I've never played it before. Uh, we're gonna just start in, uh, New exhi Exhibition? No, Expedition. Um, uh, name your dogs. Well, I do have a German Shepherd called Baloo, um, and Zeus is probably the closest looking to my shepherd, I think, because he's black. So we're going to call him Blue, because, you know, Jungle Book and all that. Um, and I don't think I'm going to change any of the rest of them. Blue can, Blue can join the crew. Um, so flag color. I've got different flag colors. Do I need to look like the channel? No. Um... Yeah, I quite like that one. Right. Gonna be a dude. Obviously gonna call ourselves Steve. Uh, skin tone. I am super duper white. So... Um, I have blonde hair, but I don't have any. Right then. Let's see what this game has to offer. Dear Steve, we are very sorry about your mentor's passing. Dr. Garcia was an exceptional scientist and inventor. Her work and research has influenced the whole world. This is why we are sponsoring this expedition. We know how important it is to recover her documents. Dr. Garcia loved Arctico. She embarked on multiple expeditions to the island throughout her life. We know that her focus for this last voyage was to improve the production of plants and crops on sub-zero conditions whilst also working on undisclosed inventions. We were able to recover some of her blueprints, but we are still... We, uh, well, we are sure how many still remain on the island. You must find the other blueprints, search for them all around Arctico and recover Dr. Garcia's work. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Now, there's a few things I need to tell you about this game before we jump into it. Um, there is limited resources, so everything that is in the world to use, like first aid kits and everything like that, they are 100% limited. Once they're all gone, they're all gone. There's no more. So this is this is why the game intrigued me. Um, it is a survival game. Uh, it does have elements where you have to combat, um, you know, wild animals and stuff like that, like uh, wolves and bears, I think, and stuff. Um, but they also as I understand it, you need to sort of battle those to get food in some instances. So it's going to be very interesting to try and find that balancing act between all of the elements in the survival aspect of the game. But I think it's going to be quite fun. Um, obviously, it's, it's set in sort of a, an Arctic location. There's no specifics or anything. It doesn't say whether it's like a North or South Pole or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, let's let's get into this and have a look at this game and see what it's like. Oh wow, that mouse sensitivity. I'm gonna have to turn that down. Right then. World hardware. Sell. We've got five thousand dollars. Buy hardware. Okay. I don't think we've got a mouse sensitivity setting. Oh yes we do. Oh, that's super sensitive though. They need to uh, grab. Right, so we can change color, cook, and sleep. Oh, the sensitivity is knocking me off something rotten. Okay, let's go and have a look at these dogs. Hello, doggies. 
Bruno, Blue, Linda, and Max. We have a kayak. Uh, okay, so we're off. All right, and I'm going to start heading that way, I think. Because it looks like there's something at the top of that hill over there. How do we go that way? I've never played this game before, so I don't really know what I'm best off looking out for. But that's home base right there. It's got some really weird music on this game as well. Look at my dogs. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, this game is actually pretty cheap. Um, I got it like on a sale, and I think it, it literally only cost me <clears throat> £2.79 or something. Um, obviously, that's British sterling. Um, but yeah, I think the game is generally only around sort of six, seven pounds anyway. So if you do like the look of the game, it's a uh, fairly cheap one to, to look into. Is this just like a ship wreckage or something? Right, so we're just coming up to the... Well, it looks like a shipwreck of some description. I'm not sure whether it will have anything in here, actually, to be quite frankly honest. Well, it looks like there is, yeah. Alright, dogs. Let me jump off. Let's go into here and see what we've got. Can we jump through this? What is this? Not enough power. What is this supposed to be? Telescope blueprint. Dr. Garcia's data accessing. Uh, log 9, I truly wish everyone could enjoy these views. I wish everyone could feel what I feel as I contemplate the vastness and quiet of Arctico. Is that it? Okay. Is this where like she landed or something? I don't know. Oh, 200 hardware. So we powered this battery with 30 power. And that's what allowed us to look at stuff, right? Okay, interesting. Uh, let me get through this gap. Come on. Really? This is where I came in. There we go. Alright. Are pet attacks? Ooh. Ooh, you can pet them. Oh, Max, I love you. Linda, I love you too. And Baloo, I love you specially. Oh, God. So this game's in early access right now. Okay, um, so it's not going to be, like, exceptionally well made right now. I need to turn this mouse sensitivity down somewhat, again. There is a co-op mode on it, um, which, I don't know, I might, I might get Ash Hall 91 to come and join me on this. It depends on whether he will like this game or not, I don't know. It's a very peculiar game. It's very different. The art style is lovely, though. It's refreshing to see. So we're going to head towards that big building up there now, I think. Unless we come across something beforehand. In which case, we're, we'll probably be back sooner. What's that over there? That looks like it's flashing. It's a really strange world as well, because like, everything is literally just white. Looks like there's something over there. We might as well go and use the kayak. Right? Then we just enter the water. Only jumps in the kayak. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that animation though. Look at that. Top notch. 100%. Okay, so it looks like this is another battery. I get it. So we can power that stuff, and then we can take the stuff from around it. 15 seeds. This looks like another data log. Uh, knowing that thousands of kilometers away, people believe in what I am doing makes me smile. It fills my heart to think that someone out there might 
get inspired by my work and accept their dreams and goals as an inevitable reality. It's very profound words. Are you going to let me open this? 200 hardware, nice. Okay, so I guess that's it for around here. Let's go... I think I left them over there, didn't I? Yeah, so I, th I thought it was supposed to just automatically put you in there. Maybe it doesn't, because if you're only going small distances over the water, it sort of doesn't put you in that. Is it going dark already? Alright then, we're back at the doggos. These are all doing fine by the looks of things. It looks like we can fish. I don't exactly know how we fish, though. Oh. Oh, oh. There's a map. Oh my god, this place is huge. Where have we just been, actually? Have we just been all the way over there? Because if... Oh, this must be where, like, home base is. Or is that home base over there? I don't know. I don't know where I am. There's been, I bet this is home base. Oh god, it's bigger than I thought it was. So, this is pretty much pure guesswork from me. Because I have never played this game before. There is no tutorial. Um... I know I've got to feed the dogs, but I don't know how often I have to feed the dogs. Like, I'm presuming that it's just to restore their energy. So we've just been onto that thing over there. Can we press M for the map? No. Let's go through the other thing. I'm not sure where we want to go now. I don't know whether we want to go up to that thing up there. That looks rather useful. But there's something over here as well. I think I'm going to head towards this first and then go to that up there. Because I don't, I don't really want to miss anything while I'm out here. I might as well go and do it, right? I thought this game, when I saw it um, the other day and it was on sale, I, I just really, really thought it would match. Nice little bit of, uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, we can build drills here? Okay. Um, yeah, I just thought it would really match sort of uh, Christmas type theme. Uh, being... Uh, yeah, you see that energy is going down. Now, if I go... And I give him some water. Yeah, let's give them all some water. Oh, Linda looks like she might need to eat, too. The rest of these guys are okay. Right, I'm going to go out here and see what this is. There we go. So I think it is kind of supposed to be like, it's getting towards night. I don't know, I mean that sun looks like it's going down pretty fast right now. But, um, I don't actually know whether it goes dark. What's this? Oh, we can fish here. Okay, so that's how fishing mechanic works. That's fair enough. So we can't just fish anywhere, which kind of sucks a little bit, if I'm honest, but... What's that over there? Oh, they look like they're walruses. I do not want to be messing around with those guys. Okay, so this is the first wildlife we've seen. I think that's a penguin up there. There's a penguin dude, look. Hello, Mr. Penguin. I wonder if you have to fight the penguins.
I mean, penguins aren't supposed to be aggressive, right? Hello, Mr. Penguin. Feed fish? Yeah! Penguin buddy! Oh, that's cool. I could feed him a fish. I thought he was going to attack me. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's have a look what we've got around here. Um, okay, so we got another one of these. Power the battery. Let's open these dudes. We've got 15 seeds out of that. 200 hardware and a terrain satellite blueprint by the looks of things. Anything else around here? Uh, nothing around here. What's that up there, though? I wonder if we can climb to the top of this. I don't really want to go near the walrus. I have, I have a sneaky suspicion that the walrus will attack me. Because they're just, you know... Mm. Can't get up that side. Can't get up here. What have we got here? Nothing usable? No. Nothing useful at all. So this is our first wildlife we've seen. I quite like the art style for the game. I think it really... Ooh. Parachute. I think it really suits um, the game overall. I like how these things go green after you've done it as well. So you know that you've already been there. Subnautica could, could really do with something like that. Thanks ever so much for watching this episode of Arctico, guys. Uh, again, this will just be a one-off for Christmas, I do believe. Uh, but I hope you have enjoyed it anyway. Uh, any comments that you've got, as always, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, and also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, then please do subscribe and tick your notifications bell, which lets you know when I'm releasing content. If you have enjoyed watching uh smash the like button of course uh the next episode um for this will be coming at 5 p.m greenwich meridian time gmt today um so this this will be released at 12 p.m the next one will be released at five and then the one after that will be released at around about nine o'clock in the evening uh, so if you have indeed enjoyed watching the episode then please keep an eye out for those and also watch those but uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. Die, we now are gay.